Hey guys, this is Zaman and welcome back to another new video of PowerPoint School. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this type of animated presentation slide in just PowerPoint. Here first we have to create some specific objects and add some text boxes then we can go for the animation part. So let's take a new slide, pick a rectangle shape, drag it in a way so that it covers the one fourth portion of our slide. Then to change its color from shape fill, I'll pick this color. Then from shape outline, select no outline. Then holding the control shift from your keyboard, drag it to right and it will be duplicated to the same drag them to down and you will get four different rectangle each of these rectangle is covering exactly the one fourth portion of our slide select this two corner rectangle from shape fill i'll choose this color so this was our first step next we have to add more objects for that reason i'll pick a oval shape and to get a perfect circle holding ctrl shift from your keyboard drag this over here make sure you're placing this circle in the middle of our slide now what I'll do, I'll pick a rectangle shape and I'll use this rectangle to cover the half portion of this circle. Holding the control button, select this two from merge shape, I'll select subtract. After that, pick another rectangle, cover the half portion of this half circle. Do the same, holding the control button, select this two shape, then from merge shape, select subtract so now we have the one fourth portion of a circle to change its color from shape fill i'll select white from shape outline select no outline then press ctrl d to make a duplicate one change its color to this then what we need to do holding the ctrl shift from your keyboard decrease its size a little bit now place it over here select both of these shapes press ctrl g to group them together now from here i'll just copy this particular shape bring it to here from shape outline i'll add an outline make sure you are using the same color and from shape fill select no fill you'll get something like this then click on this small arrow from here go to line option increase the size to 16 point go to effects from shadow select the preset center and set the transparency 50 percent blur 15 point then close this particular window bring this shape over here we need to decrease its size i'll do it a bit more place it over here perfect then holding the control button select this two press ctrl g to make them a group press ctrl d to duplicate this group of shapes holding the shift key from your keyboard rotate it bring it to here press ctrl d again now we need to change its color for this one from shape fill i'll pick this color and for this line shape from shape outline select the same color now bring this group on this side holding the shift key from your keyboard rotate it place it over here press ctrl d again make another duplicate bring it to here holding the shift key from your keyboard rotate it and place it over here this time we need to separate them so holding the ctrl button select all these group press ctrl shift g to ungroup them now you can see we have this group and this line shape another group another line shape in this way we have added all the objects that we need now it's time to add different text boxes which is very simple pick a text box drag it over here add your text you can change the font increase the font size make it center and change the font color to white place it over here Make a duplicate of this text box. Change the text. Holding the control button, I'll select these two text boxes. Holding control shift, drag them to down and it will be duplicated. You should keep this in mind that this is not only for making sort analysis presentation, but also you can use this for other purpose. So here we need to add more text boxes. Let's pick another one, drag it over here. 
add your text selecting all this text you can change the font you can make it bold increase the font size changes font color you can see here for the font color I'm using different shade of its background color if you want to use the color that I am using for this template, you will get it with the template file, so you need not to worry about it. Adding these text boxes are very simple and straightforward, so I'm doing it in fast forward. When you are done with adding all the necessary objects, you are ready for the animation process. To add the animation, what you need to do, go to animation tab, click on animation pane. From here, you can look over our animation status. To add the first animation, select this rectangle. From add animation, we need to select fly in animation. To change the animation direction from effect option, select from top left. Set the animation time on click duration 1 second. Click on this arrow from effect option. You can increase the smooth end and press OK. Select the second rectangle. From add animation, we need to do the same. Select fly in. Change the direction from effect option. Select from top right. Set start after previous duration one second. Click on this drop down arrow. Go to effect option. Increase the smooth end and press OK. After that, we need to select this third rectangle. From add animation, select fly in again. From effect option, select from bottom right. To change the animation timing, set start after previous, duration 1 second. Click on this drop down arrow, go to effect option, increase the smooth end and press OK. For this last rectangle, from add animation, select fly in again. From effect option, we need to change the direction. Select from bottom left. To set the animation timing, set start after previous, duration 1 second. Click on this drop down arrow, go to effect option, increase the smooth end and press OK. From animation pane, you can play all these animations and you can see how it looks. So now to add more animations, select this particular group. From add animation, select fly in. From effect option, change the direction. From top left, set the timing. Start with previous, duration 1 second, delay 0.25 second. Click on this drop down arrow, go to effect option, increase the smooth end and press OK. For this outline shape, what we need to do, from add animation, select fly in animation. From effect option, select from top left, set the animation timing, start with previous, duration 1 second and increase the delay to 0 0.50 second. Click on this drop down arrow, go to effect option and increase the smooth end, then press OK. Now select this second group of shapes to add the animation. From add animation, select fly in. From effect option, we need to select from top right. Set the animation time, start with previous, duration 1 second, delay 0.25 second. Click on this drop down arrow, go to effect option, increase the smooth end and press OK. For this second outline shape, from add animation, select fly in again. From effect option, change the direction from top right corner. Set the time, start with previous, duration 1 second, delay 0 0.50 second. Click on this drop down arrow, go to effect option, increase the smooth end and press OK. You can see the animation settings are very similar for this group of shapes. From add animation, select fly in. From effect option, change its direction. From bottom right, set the animation time, start with previous. Duration 1 second, delay 0.25 second. From effect option, you need to increase the smooth end and press OK. Almost all the settings are same for the outline shape. Here, from add animation, use fly in animation, change direction from effect option, 
then you need to set the animation time start with previous duration 1 second but make delay 0 0.50 second this is the only change that you need to do here as almost all the animation settings are same you can use the animation painter tool to copy and paste the animations but for the sake of making this tutorial video i'm doing it manually one by one so that you can have a better idea the process is very simple you need to add fly in animation on both from effect option change the animation direction set animation time start with previous duration 1 second and delay 0.25 second for the first one and 0 0.50 second for the second one now if you play the animation from the very beginning you will get to see how it's working so far it looks good to me so we can start adding animations on these text boxes for that reason holding the control button from keyboard I will select all the text boxes one by one and after selecting them all from add animation select fade set the animation time start with previous duration 0 0.50 second and increase the delay 1.50 second you can play the animation to see your progress this time we need to add some text highlighting animations for that reason holding the control button I'll select these two text boxes from add animation I'll select this font color animation from effect option I'll pick this white color then for animation time setting keep this on click duration 0.50 second and the second animation for the second text box you need to select start with previous we need to add more animations on these text boxes so holding the control button select them again from add animation select font color this time from effect option I will pick the color that we have previously for this text now for the animation time set start on click duration 0 0.50 second then from animation pane for the second text box change it to start with previous our animation process will be same for all the text boxes so select these two text boxes from add animation select font color from effect option I'll select the white color then for animation time setting set start with previous duration 0 0.50 second again holding the control button select these two text boxes from add animation select font color again from effect option this time we need to select the color that we have previously for our text set the animation time on click duration 0 0.50 second from animation pane for the second text box change the animation time setting to with previous we are adding this font color animation for highlighting our text boxes one by one we are using the font color animation multiple time just because our first animation will highlight the text and the second animation will take it to its previous state animation process is same for all the text boxes I don't think you will have any problem here you can see selecting these two text boxes again from add animation I'll select font color from effect option this time I'll pick the color that we have previously so that it get back to its previous state from animation time setting set on click duration 0 0.50 second for the second text box from animation pane I'll change its time start with previous after that select these last two text boxes from add animation select font color animation from effect option we need to pick white color set the animation time start with previous duration 0 0.50 second again holding the control button we need to select these two text boxes from add animation select font color from effect option this time select the color that we have previously for our text set the animation time start on click duration 0 0.50 second from animation pane for the second text box I will change its time start with previous and we are done with adding all the animations now if you start the slideshow you can see all our animation is working as expected as always you can download this template for free I'll provide the download link in the description of this video if you have enjoyed our work make sure you give a like to this video and share with your friends if you are new to this channel please subscribe for more videos like this I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching